welcome guys to my channel this is grand leech and today we are fighting glossy number 15 we're gonna try and defeat it now before you guys bother too much about finding a place to get up onto these structures just stand on one of these levels of the structure that glossy is gonna move towards that structure hit that floor and it's gonna make you jump in the air lift you up it's gonna lift you up to enable you to actually grab on to the next part of that building and then you need to move towards these blocks and wait for the glossy to actually attack it for it for the blocks to move on top of each other and then you'll be able to grab onto another part of this building. It took me forever to try and figure this out. Like in forever. I died a few times. I cried a few times. But then guys, this is your second last glossy. Or, you know, this is your second last glossy. So, uh... It's probably it should be challenging. If it weren't, um, it was you know gonna be a sad tale to tell. Get his attention. He's gonna attack those blocks, and it's gonna move on top of each other. As you can see, one of them more on top of another, and then you can grab onto a part of that building, and you can move on to the next stage. Still not attacking, they're really causing any damage towards the Colossi. Um, yes, I've played this Colossi twice because the first time around I played under the impression that I was recording and I wasn't. So I defeated it and then I had to go all the way back and play it again. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> This glossy is, um, if you don't cheat, as I would say, um, by going and looking at YouTube channels like my own channel, then you struggle to defeat this glossy. Like I said in the old days, guys, you know, our tutorials were these typed out sheets and sheets on how to do this and that and where to find whatever um you know it's behind the green wall the glowing eye of the red dragon and it was written on paper and you would have to play the game and go and look for that green wall <sighs> freaking hell um and it was difficult in the old days we didn't have youtube to tell us what to do or to show us i mean by telling somebody how to do something um that's that's still difficult because that person might not be at the right spot to be able to achieve what you are telling them to do and um, as soon as you can visualize what you need to do then it's much easier so i always say yeah to joe yeah, you probably went on YouTube and just checked it out, you know. Why don't you just struggle a little bit? And he's like, but I don't need to. I can just go on YouTube and check it out. Why would I want to struggle? You know, it's it's printed into us, the old gamers. I don't know. You, us also. I also used to, you know, still do. I still do and go and look at YouTubes on how to defeat something it's difficult sometimes i mean the games weren't that challenging back when um the games were easy you had one thing to do you had you know one task to do or mission to do and that's what you did you didn't have side missions and whatever you know by chance you came across a freaking lion that had an injured leg or whatever and you had to save it you didn't have that you had a straight line to run towards and that was basically it except if you played old games like 
um, Dungeons and Dragons, um, old RPG games, um, Neverwinter Nights back in the day. Um, yeah, then you had a, a little bit bigger map to actually attack things. But in any case, guys, back to this glossy. His first weak spot was on his head. And then his second weak spot is inside of his head. His right hand. And that's difficult to get to because if you don't fall on the right angle, oh well, there's that spot there. Basically, if you're gonna attack that crack, um, he's gonna drop his sword. That's what's gonna happen. And he's holding his sword in his right hand, and in his right hand is the weak spot. So we need to get to that. But falling towards that open hand is difficult. I don't know if this game is glitching a little bit. Um, because I was struggling so much to get inside the hand. Even from that position, if he just moves his hand a little bit, you just fall through his fingers. Um, and then you have to get on top of him again. So the whole building sequence, get on the levels, blah, blah, blah. Love to do all that again. Guys, and that's it. That's classy number 15. I hope you guys enjoyed the channel, uh, the video. Sorry, the video. Please remember to subscribe and like and hit the bell button. And off we go to the very last glossy. Great stuff, guys.